What's going on guys? It's OmniArk and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where I'm going to be giving you my long overdue New York City apartment tour. So if you guys didn't know, I did move back in November from Astoria here to Long Island City. So that is Queens, New York. I did a video of my old apartment. You can check that out on the channel. But this building is technically, according to Google, a luxury apartment building. It's right on the water here so you can uh, see the Manhattan skyline. Google says, wake up every morning to spectacular views of the Manhattan skyline skyline each studio one two and three bedroom residence was designed specifically to provide modern luxury and comfort so you guys can decide uh, if this apartment is worthy of the term luxury um, this is a three bedroom apartment right now I do believe the total cost is 4900 per month I think it's changed a little bit because of COVID I don't actually ask questions. I just Venmo my share of the rent and everything is all good. So I want to take you guys through a little bit of a journey. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually start outside. I'm going to show you guys sort of like my backyard. It's right behind this building is the uh, Manhattan skyline view. It's right on the water. So I'm going to show you guys that clip first. Then I'm going to show you guys the lobby. I'll show you guys the little garden area downstairs. And then I'll show you guys basically all of the, the bottom part of the building. And then we'll come back up here into the apartment and uh, I'll I'll show you guys the entire apartment except for the master bedroom and bathroom uh, those I'm gonna be not showing for the privacy of the people who do live there so I'll show this room the other bedroom and everything else so with that being said let's teleport downstairs and I'll show you guys that Fight. Fight. of like little piers that people like to hang out on and jog around and things like that. The ferry actually also docks over here so you can get on the ferry and take that to either Brooklyn or Wall Street or whatever, uh, which is really nice, especially in like the summer. Right now it's it's a little bit cold. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is, this is the view. Um, lots of like obviously public seating. There's a little playground over here. Uh, and then there's the little like gated garden area beyond those trees you it's kind of like hidden you can't really see it and then um the park kind of extends down that way more and then there's a ton of cool stuff down there Fight. Fight. so this is like the little outdoor garden area um winter time doesn't really get used at all and everything is dead but uh, yeah, it's cool, you know, springtime, summertime, come out here and you can hang out without people bothering you, which is, which is nice. So when you first enter into the apartment, this is the view that you see. This is just the hallway into the apartment here. Um, so I'm going to flip the camera around. We do have big uh, closets here on both sides. It's super messy and dark in here. This is not my Canada goose. Don't worry. I'm, uh, I'm broke. So that's definitely not mine. Now, I don't actually know how many um, floors are in this building. I know that sounds like ridiculous, but there's two separate elevators. There's the one elevator that I use that goes up to the uh, 17th floor is the highest. And then the other elevator is for all the rich people. They don't let poor people like me take that elevator. But that one goes uh, from 18 to penthouse. So I don't know 
how many that is. Um, I, 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 I should know, but I don't. Anyway, uh, there's another closet over here. We're just gonna peek in here because it's like really bad. Yeah, it's really bad. A lot of that, actually literally like none of that is, is mine pretty much. So yeah, <clears throat> this is continuing on. This is the kitchen. So we'll pop the light on there and get you a, a full view of the kitchen just so you guys kind of have an idea. This is the refrigerator. Obviously uh, super small, super small kitchen, right? I don't do any cooking pretty much at all. Um, this room serves my roommates much more than it does serve me. Um, I basically make coffee here and the refrigerator holds all of my soda and energy drinks. And that's pretty much it. So this is the um, stove, oven, microwave. The cool part about the kitchen is uh, there's a lot of cabinet space, as you can see. Um, so we have tons of space to store all sorts of uh, food and snacks. This is the dishes and everything like that. So yeah, I'm sure you guys are super excited to see what's in my cabinets. Some more snacks, such organization skills. Absolutely incredible, right? You guys are just so blown away right now by all of my mugs and wine glasses and well, those are really the only two uh, drinking containers that I use because it's either one or the other. Um, we do also have a, a washer, a uh, dishwasher, but I literally have never used it ever because there's just not enough dishes to justify using a dishwasher because it just doesn't make sense. So yeah, like I said, uh, this is this is the small kitchen area. Um, Cafe Bustello, obviously, if you guys want to sponsor me, let me know. Um, I would love to get a, a coffee sponsorship from them. But uh, yeah, I guess I can show you guys in the fridge. <clears throat> There's really nothing in here that would be worthwhile or noteworthy or anything like that. So yeah, freezer, good stuff in there. Don't you love that? It's freaking lit. Okay, let's go back out into the hallway. This right here is the uh, reception phone. So anytime that I get like um, food delivery, they call me and they're like, hey, should I let this guy in the building? And I'm like, yeah, dude, he has my Chinese food. So let him in, bro. He's He's from Taco Bell. <laughs> you always let the Taco Bell guy in. Um, this is the living room here. It's our living room slash dining room area, I guess you could call it. Dining room table uh, holds like, you know, three or four people, whatever. It's it's fine. I We only use this space occasionally. Um, most of the time, all of us aren't home at the same time or we're not eating at the same time. And uh, I myself keep to myself a lot. I just edit videos, film, and play games, so I rarely leave my room anyway. But yeah, you can see behind me, uh, we've got the bookshelf right here. Um, none of those, none of this is actually my stuff. Um, I moved into this apartment after everybody else. We've got the love seat and the couch area here. We've got the PlayStation 4 Pro, that's my roommates. This is my electric scooter. I hope I can use that for a vlog soon. I have a GoPro mount for that. It was negative eight degrees this morning. So New York City is a bit cold right now, but this is um, the view. You guys, if you follow me on Instagram, shameless plug, oh my God, the sun is ridiculous. You've seen this view before. This is, again, this is the boulevard, Long Island City. Um, got some plants over here. We've got a mirror, so hi. This is my roommate's 55 inch uh, TV. This thing is gorgeous and massive and um, I literally don't use it unless he's here, honestly. It's OLED too, it's gorgeous. So yeah, we also have another mirror because you know, these mirrors just, they just really open up, uh, the, they open up the space, right? So anyway, let's jump into the bathroom. This is the bathroom that me and my roommate share. Uh, I cleaned it yesterday. So this is like the cleanest that it's been in a while, I guess. Um, more mirrors because, you know, luxury uh, apartment, I guess. I don't know. There's a lot of cabinet space though, which is great. You can see my shamelessly large um, cologne collection we've got going on in there. So all of these open up. So ton of space in here. We don't really use it that well. I guess we do, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it is it is what it is. Um, I actually hate the color of the sink, honestly. Like this isn't dirty. This is like literally just the color of the countertop, which is, Super frustrating because it just looks dirty and I hate it, but um, yeah, it is what it is. So this is the shower. We've got the sliding glass doors. Hello, sliding glass doors. Super, super loud. Um, 
but it gets the job done. Adjustable shower head and everything like that, full bath, so I can use my bath bombs if I want to. Only one shelf, which is frustrating. There's, I mean, I guess we don't really need it, but <clears throat> yeah, I don't really like using the corners here. I don't know. It gets, again, it gets the job done. It's fine. Uh, a lot of great lighting in here, actually, because it's got all above the, the mirror, so. Yeah, that's that. We've got, of course, the toilet. We have the disinfecting wipes for my uh, asshole. So <clears throat> definitely don't do that. I'm kidding, obviously. Uh, we'll leave the bathroom and then right out of the bathroom is my room. So literally like the two closest rooms in the entire place. Let's just kick that door down. And then this is the room that you have seen the most because this is this is the background of my Rise of Kingdoms videos or any gameplay videos or whatever. So that's what you guys see. That's what you're used to. But yeah, this is my bedroom. Um, you can see behind me, we've got the uh, bookshelf, game shelf, stuff like that. Uh, this is all the same stuff from my old apartment. Down here we have my shoes. I don't really have a strategy for organizing my shoes, so I just take them off when I come in and they, and they stay there. We've got the, the Nintendo Switch, the Wii U, the Xbox 360, N64 in that bag, a PS2 underneath it. We've got the GameCube, Dreamcast, the Wii. And yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much this. I bought a new Logitech mouse. I'm still testing that out. Got a shaker cup from an energy energy drink company that wanted me to promote their stuff, and I ended up not really liking it, unfortunately. So by the end of the year, that's what I'm hoping for. By the end of 2021, I want to have either an energy drink sponsorship or coffee sponsorship. Anyway, let's look at the gaming setup. So this is my dual monitor setup. This is the same stuff from my old apartment again. Um, this is my gaming chair. I did an unboxing of this on the channel, so if you want to see that, uh, go ahead and check that out. A lot of people have actually been asking me if I still like the chair since that was a few months ago and I've had time to use it. I think for... For the price, this is like the best value for a gaming chair, and I'm not sponsored by them at all. Um, there is a link in the description if you want to get this chair. It's straight from Amazon, so it's not like some sketchy website that needs like a code or anything like that. Um, but yeah, the only, I guess, downside is I kind of wish that this this down here was a little bit softer, so that way when I sit for longer periods of time, it's uh, more comfortable. But other than that, for the price, it's great. So I love it. Um, we... Still have the same keyboard. Again, I talked about the new mouse. We got the Blue Yeti. I've had the thing for literally like seven years and it's never let me down. It's an absolutely amazing investment. We got the webcam over there. I usually don't have my webcam facing my bed while I'm sleeping because I don't know, call me a paranoid Andy if you want, but whatever. The uh, the microphone stand actually broke. So now I just use it to keep my, um, my Stealth 700 headset. And yeah, we got all the audio foam on the wall here. This is two inch thick audio foam, got it from Amazon. It was like a hundred bucks, 120 or something. It's kind of annoying. I have some more over here behind the behind the uh, door. It does fall down occasionally. I don't think I used enough adhesive, honestly, but I don't even know if it really works that well because it's like, I don't know, the room is just so big and the ceilings are so high and there's so much space that isn't covered that I don't know, maybe it was kind of a waste, but uh, yeah, this is um, my television, 32 inch. I don't really get much use out of it because the PS5 looks better on my monitor and I'm looking to get rid of this thing. I'm It's pretty old, I wanna get a better version, but there's just not that much space, right? So if I upgrade it, I don't know, it's just gonna be more cramped, but yeah, we got the PS5 sort of, Sort of collecting dust over here, not not gonna lie, because like there's just not games for it. We got Demon Souls, but that's pretty much it. This is the view um, of the boulevard down there. You can see the little little corner bar down there. People get lit. A lot of people like to rev their engines and like race down this the street sometimes, which is super annoying. But yeah, you guys have seen this view again. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, you've definitely seen that. So. Yeah, um, I guess I can show you the, the closet space is really what makes this room look clean because it's not. But um, yeah, it's an absolute disaster in there. We basically just have like gaming accessories and button up shirts, coat, all that good stuff. Um, the other side is just like a dirty laundry and sheets, blankets, stuff like that. Nothing that you guys really would care about. But um, yeah, the massive closets are what make this room much better than my of my old apartment because that apartment had a tiny closet and everything was just crapped. So that's my room. Um, let's go back out here. We can take a tour of my roommate's room, which is over here. So this doorway, I did get permission from him. I messaged him and he was like, 
yeah, you know, just <clears throat> don't show him my dirty bullshit. So, yeah, this is uh, his room. His room is roughly the same size, but doesn't have the same closet space. Um, there is, I'm gonna kind of block some of the mess over here. Um, but he does have like some closet space back behind the door. So yeah, that is that is available. But the benefit of his room is that he has this like panoramic view, absolutely crazy, crazy nice view from this room. But because of that, it's also much colder than the other rooms in the apartment. So yeah, he's been in LA for the last like month. So he hasn't really been in here, which is why it's kind of empty. Um, this is kind of the view I guess I can show you guys. Um, it's still super sunny. We do have the, the library building here, which is gorgeous. And then uh, over there, that's Manhattan. So amazing view. And you can imagine the master bedroom is on the other side of this, uh, of, obviously of the living room. So you can imagine the view of Manhattan from their room looking that way is like amazing. But um, yeah, and then this is over here, the same view as my room basically. So yep, uh, this, is, this is the other bedroom looks better views with the price of colder temperatures. So it's a trade-off, I guess. And that's pretty much it. I think this video was way longer than I thought it would be, um, but there was a lot to kind of go over. If you guys have any questions about the apartment, of course, definitely drop them in the comments section below. Let me know, do you think this is a luxury apartment or not? You can tell me any comments, thoughts that you have about the, um, about the entire tour that I gave you guys. Of course, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a vlog style video. I'm gonna be trying to do a little bit of more vlog style content. I may actually be visiting my roommate in LA uh, in, sometime in February. So definitely subscribe for that. I'll try to film some stuff when I, or if I do go, I'm planning on going. Of course, like the video, it does help out the channel a ton when you do that. And all my social media links are in the description below. So make sure you follow me over there on Instagram, Twitter, Discord, everything is always in the description below. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.